Hey vinyl community, how you doing? I'm Gary and this is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Just wanted to do a short album review on an album that it's actually been out for a couple months uh, and you're probably thinking, well, why review it now? Well, for one thing, uh, when I review an album, because I'm in the vinyl community and my channel is called Physical Format Rock and Roll, I like to own it. I like to have a physical copy. And I wasn't able to get that right away. And the other thing is I like to uh, kind of live with it for a little bit. Get to listen to it uh, to, you know, give you a more honest opinion. And also I'm kind of lazy. So the album that I'm talking about is Universal by the Michael Schenker Group. This is his latest album. Like I said, it was released a couple of months ago on... Uh, what is it? Atomic Fire Records, I think it is. Yeah, Atomic Fire. There it is. There's the label. I'll show you the inside. Well, take a look at that. There's Michael flying on a spaceship there. And uh, there he is on the moon playing his Flying V. I'm a big fan of Michael Schenker. I know uh, some of you out there are also. Of course, he's well known for uh, starting very early in the Scorpions as a teenager, and then he went on to uh, play on UFO's most classic albums. But he's been doing uh, Michael Schenker Group or some version of it for a long, long time now. Of course, he did a couple albums of Schenker Fest, where he had multiple singers. Here, he has a core band, but yet at the same time in typical Michael Schenker fashion, he has to have uh, other players. So I'm not going to list all of the players on here because there's lots of different guest stars. Uh, but Ronnie Romero is the primary singer on this album. But uh, Gary Barden is also on here. Uh, he makes a couple of appearances and so does Michael Voss. Uh, Michael Voss and Michael Schenker produced the album. I will say... Sound-wise, it's nothing exceptional. Exceptional, I mean, it sounds fine, uh, but it doesn't really pop out at you like some albums do. But I will show you the vinyl real quick. It's kind of this, I don't know what you even call that. Kind of got a bit of a purple haze kind of thing to it. Purple haze like Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> anyway, uh, this to me... The more I have listened to it, the more I like it. I'm kind of glad I didn't talk about it when I first got it because I definitely like it more now. It has grown on me quite a bit. Um, it's Michael Schenker is one of those guitar players where his solos, they just have something to them. Uh, even when he's doing fast solos, it's not just a million notes and there's really nothing to it. It always has like a bit of melody to it in his solos. No different here. He's got a lot of great guitar work on this album. Uh, he's got some hard rocking songs. He's got some very melodic songs. Because, you know, Michael Schenker over his career has done both of those type of songs. You know, sometimes the albums are real hard rocking. Sometimes they're very melodic. It's got a nice mixture here. I like Ronnie's voice with him. Uh, speaking of Ronnie, they actually have a song... Uh, where they talk about Ronnie James Dio on here called A King Has Gone. Uh, it's kind of a neat song, actually. I, I like it. It starts out with Emergency. Uh, the song Emergency and the, I think it's the universe, uh, definitely have a UFO kind of feel to it. But uh, this is a really good album, I think. Uh, like I said, it, it, it starts out strong with the song Emergency. Side B starts out really strong with a song called Wrecking Ball. They're both pretty uh, fast, hard rockers, but there's lots of changes in here. Uh, Calling Ball, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's that's a good one. I think this also shows, like, uh, it's a good mixture of guitar work for Michael as far as it's not all the same. Uh, his last album uh, was okay, uh, but it wasn't that great it had a lot of sameness to it i think this has some variation to it and i appreciate that it's got a song on here called london calling which is not the clash by the way a very melodic song it's kind of reminiscing 
uh, about the uh, early 80s and whatnot. But uh, anyway, it's out now. Universal by Michael Schenker Group. I recommend it. If you're a fan of Michael Schenker, definitely pick it up. If you've never heard him before, you know, maybe stream a few songs and check it out. Thank you for watching. I'm Gary. This is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Till the next time, my friends, I will see you down the road.